This tutorial is for web developers or IoT developers or even a beginning pen tester that wants to know more about web and API security. They will go over past vulnerabilities found in APIs. We'll also go over a couple of ways that we can pen test an API and different tools that we could use. Then we'll go over ways that we can develop secure APIs. The first vulnerability we will go over is the Nissan Leaf API that simply didn't check the authentication of the request. The API powered a mobile application for your car to allow a user to check the heating, turn on the heater and check the battery status. However, the API allowed a hacker to access the controls of a Nissan Leaf connected to the system across the world. This is unfortunately not that uncommon, as in many cases the endpoint is only secured by client-side code, for example JavaScript in a web page, but is not checked on the endpoint on their server. We should always presume that the user is malicious and can bypass any security we set on their side. The second exploit we'll be looking at was one found in WordPress 4.7.1. This allowed a hacker to modify the posts of any website without privileges. This was done by injecting malformed data into a parameter of a HTTP request. We'll be looking at different ways that we can find such exploits using a method called fuzzing, using an application called Burp Suite. I have set up WordPress version 4.7.1 locally on my computer, which we will be conducting the pen test on. So I went ahead and set up Foxy Proxy, which is a Mozilla plugin that allows you to uh, set up a proxy and route all the traffic to Burpsuit. Now we're going to quickly go over the interface of Burpsuit. So the only two tabs we'll be using is Target and Intruder. So basically what we're looking to do is undercover an internal uh, API that they be using that don't, doesn't necessarily have uh, documentation, public documentation or, or sorts of that. So what we'll do is we will activate the plugin to go through Burpsuit and we'll just use the website normally. And now what this is going to do is every time, actually before we do that, we have to turn off. Um, as you can see here, Burpsuit is... Um, catching all the HTTP requests before we send them. Now that's pretty good if you want to kind of go through every HTTP request as they're coming in, but we're not going to do that, so we're just going to turn this off and we'll just use the website as is. Again, I've added a couple of comments here just to see if everything's working well. We'll just add one again, blah blah blah, and post it, and we'll be able to catch all these. Now, so basically, if we go to target, we can see here that we have a sitemap. Of all the HTTP requests that Burpsuit has recorded, <clears throat> and this is going to be great. So we can actually go and look at. It's not only going to just show us what calls we made, but also what data we sent and what parameters we have. And this is going to allow us to kind of dig deeper into the into the internal API of WordPress and kind of how the whole website as a whole is working. Um. So, for example, we, we will uh, fuzz one API endpoint. Um, We'll just pick a random one here. We'll pick anything with parameters it's out so, so that we actually have some control. A post would be perfect. So let's see here. So this is a post request to WP comments, which is when we sent it. When we when we added the comment, we can see here. Yeah, that's the comment we made. So what we're gonna do is send this to the intruder, and now. We have all the positions of the parameters that can change in the HTTP request. This is what I was talking about earlier about the fuzzing. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear all these and just pick one for now. Let's pick, um, clear all these. Let's pick, so comment, order, email. Mm -hmm. Let's pick, let's pick comment, the actual data that we're sending. And we'll add a variable here. We will now go to payloads. So this is where, basically what, what we're doing is we're saying, to burp suit hey we want to send this request um the only thing modified every time is the comment section where we have these symbols I'm not sure what they are and we are going to um concatenate uh, every line of our word list so i'll go through it'll make more sense when i actually load the word list in so we'll pick one here now um let me see i just overflow dos so there's loads of them here that I've downloaded from GitHub and stuff like that. A few don't come with Burp Suit. Um, I'll send, leave a few links in the description, but we'll click this one for now. Basically, what we're doing is just trying to. Oh, actually, no, let's get rid of that one here. Let's pick a different one. Um, let's see if. Bad characters. Let's see what happens when we do bad characters. Okay. 
so yeah let's add this one in here this is some type of injection um of sorts probably no i think this is xml injection again let's uh, probably pick a different one let's see if we can get um, the xss okay let's pick this one here. right so we'll just we'll just go along with it even though it probably won't work and we'll start attack um, demo version i'm using the community version um i believe you won't see that if you're using Kali. Uh, I think you get a better version built into Kali. However, we see we made all the requests, and now what we can do is we can kind of inspect each request as we fuzzed it. So the first one here we set inject xxs, uh, just like I said, it was the exact same as last time. But let's see what response we got. So it doesn't indicate to me. That it actually did not allow it and if we refresh this yeah so it did now that's obviously not an exploit because there's no code execution there however if we go back to burp suit where this was so that's interesting it's basically acknowledging the fact that Oh no, what is an error? Ah, see, that's interesting. But um, basically we can see what, how different, how the system would send us different responses based on the input. And this is how we could actually un, 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 uh, discover these like vulnerabilities that we were talking about earlier in, um, in, in WordPress. Now we're actually gonna go over the vulnerability that we were looking at today, which is, WordPress 4.7.1 so this vulnerability is so now that we have found and exploited the bug in WordPress's API let's find out why it works so I've pulled up all the files that we need to look at and the first function we'll be looking at is update items permissions check we can see here that it takes the ID parameter that we set which was alphanumeric and passes it to the function get post now I've pulled up the get post function and here it checks it comes down to this piece of code here and it calls get instance with the post variable which was again alphanumeric then if we come into get instance we can see here it checks if it was numeric returning false so we know that the post is false and it simply comes in here if false so it never runs the check and we get return true allowing us to update the post that we wanted to i hope you found the tutorial useful the next video will be on payloads so actually when we find these vulnerabilities how to exploit them and gain control over the system furthermore um, which will be coming shortly thank you for watching